All right, YouTube, once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast, Talking Auburn Football. Go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. As always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, especially today, War Eagle. You know, some of the more talented players in the country decide to commit to SEC schools on a yearly basis. Most of the top teams in the SEC are usually ranked within the top five of recruiting classes, and a lot of those are loaded with defensive players. You look around the SEC and you see players, uh, you know, very, very talented players, especially one thing that the SEC is really, really predicated itself on is the ability to have very solid defensive lines. Uh, matter of fact, it's a bragging point. If you think about Auburn, we thought that Auburn would have one of the top defensive lines, if not the more dominant, if not the arguable best defensive lines in the country. But you also got other guys like Jonathan Grenard from Florida, like Jordan Elliott from Missouri. And then you got Justin Matabuke from Texas A&M, who all could have been high level award winners but none other than mr domination himself Derek brown from sugar hill georgia one of the top two recruits in auburn history if you think about what it means to be a five-star recruit in the first place one of the descriptions is usually their tra their talent is transferable to immediate plan time and usually that talent will transfer over as to being a, a top draft pick Derek Brown has been named by the AP poll SEC's defensive player of the year, along with being on the first team, all SEC team, along with his teammate, Marlon Davidson and KJ Britt, who was also on that particular list on defense. Auburn had one of the better defenses in the country did not allow except for the Alabama game more than 21 20 20 something points 24 points before the Alabama game averaged about 18 points allowed per game they also met a lot of their defensive goals which were part of the reason why Auburn is now nine and three having I mean astoundingly the most difficult schedule in all of college football with an opportunity to win 10 games and that by the way with a true freshman quarterback who continued to, to develop throughout the year. Not necessarily lights out, but he, 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 didn't, he wasn't the reason that the team lost. Um, you know, so, so it's just really, really refreshing to see guys that come back for their senior year and they make the most out of their opportunity. It doesn't always mean you're going to win a national championship or that you're going to win an SEC championship. It just means you put yourself in a, in a position to be a little bit more successful than you would have been otherwise. And as the SEC, I'm talking about the SEC Defensive Player of the Year, that is a huge feat. And that's something that, you know, we'll never forget this. We will never forget that Auburn has three defensive players in on the first team All-SEC defense. And it, it's really no telling what the All-American situation is going to look like. You could have a possibility with Marlon Davidson. And I know Derrick Brown is probably a sure in for all-American and you look at probably Marlon Davidson's second third team all-American so these guys have really put put their themselves on the line to represent for Auburn and to represent for the SEC a big congratulations to Derek Brown SEC defensive player of the year Marlon Davidson on the first team all defense and KJ Britt Mike linebacker at all SEC on defense at linebacker. Man, I'm so proud of these guys, uh, you know, especially covering uh, Auburn football for this past year and even before this on Facebook. It really, it, it really makes me happy to see these guys work so hard and are able to accomplish their goals. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast Talking Auburn Football. Go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.